guys have any good ideas for what we can do to make this Beedrill just the ultimate fighting machine, then comment them. I know it probably looks something like Twin Needle and probably some kind of poison type move in there. I also do imagine that we'll probably be seeing Focus Energy on a move set for Beedrill, a top tier move set. And we're back. Welcome to episode 5 of the Pokemon Liquid Crystal Nuzlocke. I I am getting pretty tired, guys. I just got done recording um, an episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke and uh, the tired late night recording atmosphere and vibes were definitely there uh just it just definitely showed uh we we did lose some mons but we got we did get a lot done in that episode so definitely check that one out i i really hope that everyone likes both of these series and you guys can thoroughly enjoy checking both of them out but uh, if not, that's that's no big deal either way. I know some people people like different things. Okay, so if you guys like one series and not the other, I am appreciative of your viewership. Either way, we love to have you guys on the channel. But this. Um, I don't know. This could potentially be not very good. Hopefully this is a good sized episode for you guys. I don't know how this is going to end up playing out. Um, I, I might end up having to do a cut sometime through this episode. Or it could be a shorter episode. Or who knows guys. It might even be... A normal length episode and speaking about that normal length episode comment right there I'm kind of thinking about doing some things different at least when we're when we have enough time to get everything recorded um, in our recording sessions then um, the schedule I think I kind of want to have it be Two episodes of this series a week and two episodes of Alpha Sapphire, but now that I'm going to be at least aiming for two episodes on this a week, I'm thinking about cutting it down to about 30 minutes or so per episode, but if you guys enjoy having it for an hour, I mean, I guess we could try to shoot for our episodes, um, but... Let me know how you guys are feeling about that. Or if if it even matters to you guys. Some of you guys probably could care less about the length of each and every episode. As long as you guys are getting content. So, I don't know. Definitely let me know though. Um, just to kind of gauge on how we're feeling. It would be pretty cool to get a Pidgeotto before this rival battle i'm like almost 100 percent sure that we're gonna have a pretty nasty battle here soon guys so uh that is something to be concerned about and i very much am i very much am concerned about our impending doom or at least that's how i feel it's gonna be hopefully not hopefully we do just fine but, in the event that we don't, just know, I warned you guys. So, I think we can probably get an encounter here. Don't think that we have got an encounter over here. Definitely not, um, like, out of the Union Cave. That is, uh, Species Claws. So we can keep moving. We caught Eradicate, I think, in last episode. So 
We are doing, obviously, dupes and species claws in this series. And that's dupes as well. We have an Ekans. But pretty much, we don't have a Spiro. Okay. Um, yeah, I was about to say, that shouldn't take him out. But, um, pretty much, guys, what that dupes and species clause does, I think especially for this series, it'll be really nice. Um, and that's because of all of the, I guess you could call it hidden, um... Or the, the, the more rare encounters that they have in this game. But hold on. Let's take one second here. There has been a lot of people commenting on our polls, on our videos, on our shorts. Very much appreciated, guys. But the thing is, I don't know... I don't have these nicknames offhand, so I do think that there was someone named Paul who commented on something. So shout out to you, Paul! Thank you for supporting the channel, my man. That it just means a lot, and you are forever enshrined in this Nuzlocke on the channel. So that is much appreciated. And if you guys want a mon named after you, and I managed to remember your guys' name, or I will go back to writing down um, your guys' names. I just, with the way my setup is, I can't, I can't check that right now. So, I'll start writing down these nicknames again, and uh, like I was saying, if you guys want a mod named after you, then all you gotta do is comment, or, 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 you guys also have the choice of suggesting names we we do try to keep it pg here guys okay this is a series for everyone so definitely keep that in mind um and, you know anything that is outright explicit is probably not gonna make our nickname list unfortunately and speaking of that, I was in a stream with my dude, Online Bully, and uh, it was it was really funny. He has a um, a solo run up on his channel, a Radicate solo run of Pokemon Red and Blue, and I'm pretty sure he named his Radicate ass and. Uh, he he uh, suggested that to the streamer as a name for uh, I think it was what Pokemon was that that he was using? That wasn't Executor. Uh, I think it was I don't know, guys. Honestly, I forgot. Thank thankfully we do have Levitate. I kind of pause there for a second because usually we do randomized nuzlocks and that would have probably took out online bully right there so that that would have sucked but thankfully like i was saying we do have we do have levitate but i don't know man that just uh that suggestion it just uh it was funny man i uh definitely enjoyed that <laughs> i don't know i i feel like i would have a little bit better commentary on it if I'm a little bit more awake, but just know it made me laugh. I did appreciate that, my man. So let's, uh, yeah, we do take out that Geodude. Uh, no George grew to level 18. You do love to see that. And I kind of like the idea of sending Ben out here for Machop just because that might get us up to level 16 and I'm pretty sure that at level 16 we get Pidgeotto so that would be pretty clutch and yeah look at that that Machop did no damage on us there guys um, you do love to see that so let me think about some of these polls that we have on the channel we have quite a bit of them I think that as of uh, recording this episode, 
The last one that I put up was what is your favorite baby Pokemon? And right now I'm pretty sure Togepi is winning that one. Which I guess isn't too insane. And I guess Pidgeotto does not. We do not get Pidgeotto at level 16, unfortunately. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that Togepi right now is in the lead. Which, like I was saying, is not the craziest thing in the world but I was kind of expecting Pichu to uh, take this poll but I don't know I guess we'll see how that one unfolds either way you can't really go wrong at least in these modern games because I mean Pichu to Raichu that's nice and uh Wait, this kid won't let anyone into Azalea Town until he gets his Pokedile back. Okay. So, oh, I lost my Pokedile in the Union Cave. I can't find it anywhere. Can you go and look for it, please, mister? I really want it back. Who, boo, who, who. So, this... Rugrat here is not letting us pass until we find this polka doll. This is a new addition to this ROM hack. This is not in your vanilla base Gen 1 games. So I guess it it's pretty cool, though it is kind of annoying. I I think right now, I really would rather not have to look for this guy's polka doll. I think I want to get as much progress done as possible. Take on Bugsy in this episode, but... I guess it's just going to be probably a little bit later in this episode. I definitely do see us getting to Bugsy, as long as it's a normal length episode. But then, like I was also saying, guys, what's a normal length episode now? I don't know, maybe we'll make this one a little bit longer of an ep of an episode, as long as we don't have to cut or anything, and uh, uh, you know, just in case we only have enough time for one. I don't really know what we should do, guys. I guess I'll I'll uh, I'll just have to make a game time decision. Simple as that, I think. And, uh, I mean, I guess more XP is good because I still do think that we have a pretty intense rival battle coming up. So, it'll be pretty nice to not lose any mons. Hopefully we don't. And who knows, we might be able to get Pidgeotto as well before that fight. But... Let's just run. Don't want to be taking on any Onyxes. And now, yeah, since it is easier for us to run now than before, any kind of Rock-type Mons we're just going to run from, it's definitely not worth it, just because right now, Rock-type is not a good type for our Pokemon to go up against. Hopefully that will change, but... I don't have much control over that. Wow. We have to be really careful with uh, with our boy Zubat. You know, I I have to keep this thing on the squad. Really want a Crobat. There's even more than Gengar, honestly, at the moment. Just be well, even not just at the moment. I just I love Crobat, guys. Crobat is one of my favorite mods. And I've said it a few times in probably this series, but definitely at the very least a few times on the channel. Just uh, top tier Pokemon, in my opinion. It, uh, it has very high speed, just very good stats, very good stats all around. So I do love to see that. Um, so pretty much... We don't have to worry about a, uh, like that, oh boy, let's just, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of that. 
And maybe we'll get bee drill up just a little bit, okay? I actually do want to make this bee drill at least as good as it can possibly be. I would actually kind of want to keep it around. So, um, I'm not too familiar with bee drill's moveset, but if you guys have any good ideas for what we can do to make this bee drill just the ultimate fighting machine, then comment them. I know it probably looks something like Twin Needle. And probably some kind of poison type move in there. I also do imagine that we'll probably be seeing Focus Energy on a move set for B Drill, a top tier move set. So, I don't know. Those are my two ideas for B Drill. Um. The thing is, though, I don't really know what kind of poison-type moves that he can really learn. So, maybe like Sludge Bomb or something. If Beedrill can learn Sludge Bomb, that would be really OP. And look at that, guys. We just... We wasted our time because we are supposed to find this guy's Polka Doll. That is just so unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. A series of, un of unfortunate events. I'm pretty sure that's a book. I don't think I've ever read it. I don't think I've had the pleasure. But if you guys are a fan, let me know. Let me know. Let me know anything, you guys. Anything that you want to tell me. Put it in that comment section down below. I... As long as, as, long as it's... Something productive you know as in just not detriment as long as it's not detrimental to the community i will give you a thumbs up and i will give you a heart on that comment i like to see nice positive comments that everyone can collectively feed off of and uh I don't know just definitely if you guys have any comments don't be afraid to share them guys so we are getting some levels on this Zubat no polka doll I definitely thought it was down over there just because I do remember having to do this before but it has been a while since I have done it. Okay, well, never mind about that whole bee drill thing. Jeez. That, uh... That sucked. I did want to have bee drill on the team. But, like, Union Cave, man. Union Cave. I'm not having a good time here in Union Cave. We've gotten so many deaths. Death and Despair in Union Cave. That might be the name of the episode. Even though we've been here for the majority of the series. It just... It sucks. And you know what? Let's bring Raticate on the squad. Raticate's probably the better mount anyway. And a higher level. Shout out to Online Bully. We did get your Raticate on the team, my man. So, hopefully we can dominate with this thing. And uh, your run did teach me a couple things about Raticate. At least I'm pretty sure it still does apply to Raticate. Well, I shouldn't even say I'm pretty sure because I haven't looked at this thing's moveset. But... At least in Gen 1, Raticate can learn Ice Beam, and I had no idea about that before that run. And actually, let's check this thing out. So yeah, not the greatest moves right now. And pretty even on attack and special attack, though there is a slight edge to, I think that was attack. So always very good to check that kind of stuff out hopefully we can get 
like Super Fang or Hyper Fang pretty soon. But I don't know, man. These things are kind of scary to me at the moment. Look at that. That Sandshrew is pretty clean. I think that's the first time we've seen Sandshrew in this cave. But, I mean, I guess let's look at that. Radicate, you're already paying off, buddy. Let's let's see how far Radicate can take us. Get some levels up on him as well. I really anticipate this rival battle being a tough one. See, I guess Radicate is just a menace, and I've been just sleeping on Radicate this whole time. I don't want to use up all these healing items, but yet here we are, and. I don't know, it would be pretty cool if it turned out that we never even had a rival battle. I would definitely take that at this point. And, uh, like, if it was just that polka doll, then that would be pretty cool. And actually, what am I doing? That guy gave us a repel. We probably should buy him anyway, but... That's the thing, like, I know that we are under-leveled for Bugsy, so that's why it doesn't really bother me too much that we uh, aren't buying repels, because we do need the XP, but that should be the Polka Doll, yep. Okay, so we do grab that. Now let's see... I mean, our team is mostly intact. Yeah, heal up Radicate just a bit, and then... Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I guess we'll have to see how the rest of this cave is going to be treating us here. I don't plan on using Zubat at all during uh, a rival battle, if there is one. Uh, I do gotta be careful though. Maybe, maybe we'll just keep on going with with Radicate, get those levels up. Like I, like like I'm preaching right now. Okay, we need levels on Radicate, and very much so. But I will say this though, guys, if this is the kind of progress that we're gonna be getting done in one whole episode then we're probably going to want to keep on having these episodes at an hour. And I know, like, you know, everyone has their own preferences on how they like their content. And, uh, you know, if you guys are a kind of a speed up kind of a person, then you could watch this episode or future episodes in... Uh, like double speed I don't know if one and a half is an option or not but if you guys want to speed it up you can that uh, it's your guys' choice and I do not have a problem with it but I don't know hopefully we are doing a good job of commentating and uh, we always are striving to get better here on the channel guys so we are uh, we are low on healing items. We've used probably about, I think, 16 potions. Okay, thanks for finding that kid's doll. I wouldn't have been able to get to the gym otherwise. Thank goodness. No rival battle. I don't know why. Let's, let's listen to this. Oh, actually, never mind. This is in Fire Red, even though I'm pretty sure... It's a different... No, I'm actually like almost 100% sure that they're using a different Azalea Town track than what is used in Fire Red. There's, uh, there's a couple of distinct differences at the beginning of Azalea Town that... Uh, it's just different. It's just slightly different and... A trained ear can tell I have listened to so many different tracks of music for the channel so 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive that it is different than uh, normal. So, we are talking to Kurt. Kurt is going to knock Team Rocket away from the Slowpoke Well. And there are Apricorns in this game, guys. They are fully functional. So, we are going to be making at least some use of these Apricorns. We're probably not going to be flying back to... Get these apricorns at the ready, but it is an option to drop off an apricorn for a little while. So, super potions. We don't have any of those, so maybe let's grab some of those, and then we at least grab one more potion. Sounds fair to me. And... How are we doing on our catching materials? We are doing just fine on those as well. So we are about to get an encounter here. I'd be fine with many different things. But that's also the thing. I was going to say, yeah, I would kind of like Geodude. But we have Fan P on the squad. Slowpoke. Yo. I will definitely take that. That's the thing. I'm sorry, Online Bully. I kind of already want to get rid of Radicate. I know he's... He's been doing well by me here. But I just... I think he has to be first man off the squad. I think he's like... He's our certified backup at the moment, unfortunately. So, I mean, honestly, I think I would rather have a Pidgeot eventually on the team than Raticate. Let me know how you guys feel, and let me know how you feel about it too, Online Bully. Um, any kind of feedback would be appreciated, you guys, and uh, there has been quite a bit of feedback on the channel. I should also be shouting some other people out, and look at that. Now I'm actually kind of thinking of some of these other, uh, some of these other comments that we've had on the channel. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, there is shout out to Kato. Oh boy, I should not have did that. I meant to potion. Okay, good. It didn't matter either way. Thankfully, we got a little bit lucky on that one. But, Kato, shout out to you, my man. I do appreciate the support very much. And I was... I am going to be naming you after an Eevee or an Eeveelution. So, we are going to name this thing after Autocorrect Nuzlocke. Shout out to you, my dude. I, I haven't gotten around to checking out your... Uh, your channel yet but definitely I will give that a I will give that a look and I uh, definitely want to show my support to you as well my man so let's um, that's close enough that is close enough AC Nuzlocke welcome to the squad well not quite not yet pending pending box transfer um Gonna end of the squad. So, good things that we are getting into. We are getting closer to a Crobat. That is one of my main goals. And look at that, guys. It is now March, of course. And I think that this that, that hail is turning into rain. So, that is pretty cool that um, it's... You know, that the game does that. That it tracks, uh, I guess, which month and gives you gives you weather according to the months. And I think I would much prefer rain than hail. I would rather not get hit by hail every turn. Um, because, you know, I don't have any ice types. And I may never have an ice type in this run. But I'm not going to write that one off. I do... Well, I would like to have an ice type eventually. There's a lot of cool ice type mons, even though 
it really probably isn't the best typing. Ice type seems to be probably on the less desirable side just because there's a lot of weaknesses and uh, obviously that would that's just not a good thing to have a lot of weaknesses like there's fighting rock ground fire a lot of different weaknesses but I'm gonna have to make a quick cut guys this might actually be the whole episode I'm not sure not yet so if it is, I will see you guys next time, and if not, we will be right back. But either way, I hope you guys do enjoy the content, and consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like button. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. Peace.